Dear viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Selegomba. I am your host Wilberforce and I am with Liz and Dennis. Dennis. Dennis Liz, hope you are doing well. Uh, today we want to talk about something very, very fundamental at the workplace. And we want to begin with uh, what are some of those things that we should normalize at the workplace? Liz. Mm -hmm. Okay, for me, one of the things that I think we should normalize at our workplace is embracing cultural diversity. Mm. Here, I mean, many people want to impose their cultures on other people at work, especially at work. In so, which way? Uh, I mean, in a way that someone may be having a different culture and they think that is what is right. Mm. So, I think people should embrace the fact that we can still work together, but when we believe in totally different things. Let's talk about uh, something like maybe marriage. Yes. So most people think, according to their cultures, that marriage is an achievement, right? Mm. So at work, someone will start thinking less of the other because either they're married, they're not married, or they're divorced or widowed or whichever. Uh, marital status they have mm. and thinking is your problem not that person's problem but the problem is trying to tell that person that you think less of them just because of their marital status so I think that people should embrace the fact that we have different cultures but even when we have different cultures we can still work as a team and work harmoniously yeah. how about these people who normally uh, maybe uh, excuse themselves that they will not come for work because probably the the, the, uh, the function going place going on at work is uh, happening on their day of worship and uh, they happen not to come for work or excuse themselves. What can we do about that? Uh, I think that one goes hand in hand with uh, flexibility. Mm. Yeah, we need to be somehow flexible. Not everything that will happen or every condition or every uh, situation at work will favor our cultures or our religious affiliations or it will favor our beliefs. So in instances where we need to be flexible, we have to uh, at least adjust and be flexible sometimes Thank where I need be, not all the time. Thank you, Liz, for that insight. Uh, now, uh, Dennis, yes. what is your say about uh, those things that we should normalize at work? Uh, I think the other thing we should normalize is about uh, sacrifice. Mm. We should normalize uh, giving and taking sacrifices. We don't just have to... Many people are fond of just doing what's in the job description. Mm. People should normalize going above and beyond what they are required to do by the job. Mm. So you sacrifice your time, sacrifice something for the sake of what you are doing. You see? But you know, there is also, in that aspect, in that regard, some employers take advantage of the employees because the, this, the job description says that you have to work beyond your working hours or you have to go beyond, you have to work an extra mile. And they make, they man manipulate you you find that the, you work beyond the working hours, you're not appreciated or... In the, in the same spirit, mm. the employers should also normalize appreciating employees who go above and beyond their mm. job description. Okay. It should become a normal thing to recognize these people, maybe gift them, mm. give them some days off, because in recognition of what they've been doing mm. extra, mm. that maybe is not part of their job description. Mm. Yes. Do you know that sometimes we, ha we have no time for our families? Uh, most of the time we are at the workplace. Yeah. So what? How can we balance work and our personal lives? Okay. Uh, I think one way is normalizing taking time off. Mm. Yeah. If you have a job that allows you to have some time off, you should use it profitably. Spend time with family. Do an activity that you love. Have fun with friends. Mm. Like make sure that your life does not your work does not mean your life you have a life even after work you have a life even when you're not at work mm. so those instances where people leave work but even when they're at home they're at work i think we should normalize having a life mm. after work mm. yeah so that at least uh we can have fun and we can lead a normal life mm. yeah not work 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 
you are at home you think about work or you're doing work you have only one day off in a week and still it is work so, so you, you know? mean we should leave the computers at work and then go home and mm. have time with our families no you can go with your computer maybe you can check after some hours for any email that may come in mm. or whatever but then not being on your computer for maybe 12 hours yet it is a day off mm. so you see too much yeah. play without too much work without, without play. play makes john a dull boy or girl yes <laughs> so uh thank you for for, for that uh now um dennis yes. what about when it comes to uh the issue of privacy uh do you have something to say about that uh we should normalize respecting people's privacy in which way because uh, in some areas people have this sort of open office setting mm. where they sit openly mm. and people don't seem to respect boundaries mm. so we should have respect that this is a person is my colleague but he's also an individual mm. he's a human being on his own mm. so we should normalize respecting people's boundaries and privacy mm. not encroaching too much into what someone is doing mm. if their computer is on the table and it's open mm. without their permission you should not go there and check on what they are doing mm. You, see? you have reminded me something. Do you know that there are some people you can give your phone to see something and then they go into the other, you know, Details. gallery, checking pictures, reading your emails, yes. you know, such things. So I think they, they yes. should, should normalize uh, having that professional relationship where we respect boundaries. You know, if he has given you the phone maybe to check on a meme and make you laugh, mm -hmm. you don't have to open other pictures, mm -hmm. see what they gave you and give it back. So we should normalize that respect. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll b about still privacy. Mm. It goes that many things involved in privacy, like Dennis has said. Then privacy also goes uh, into what someone would love to talk about and what they would not love to talk about. Mm. You know, you, you can be at work and someone asks you a question that is private. If, I mean, if I've not brought you inside my private life, you have no right of trying to dig you know deep into it i'll give you an example mm. someone may know that you you you, you you're like maybe 40 years mm. and then you've not given this person space to discuss about your family exactly. and then someone takes initiative all the time you're talking about maybe something and then they're asking you how many children do you have <laughs> it is it is impolite mm. even are if, you married by the are, way you, are you married or how is your husband are you sure i have a husband what if he died or something happened so that is also not good like people should normalize knowing that if someone has not brought me into their private space i have no right encroaching on it mm. so it is really impolite because you may ask how many children the man or the woman is 40 years old and they are they've been struggling with infertility and then you see someone bursting into tears yet you don't know so you see if someone has not brought you in or created that space where you can talk about private issues i don't think you should really dig. be inquisitive to know exactly what yeah. is going on in their private life yes yeah thank you so much uh how about this issue on, uh, concerning um, uh, open communication and uh, discussion like you have a meeting at work and then you find that there is maybe some form of criticism and feedback that you have received. I think there are two things involved there. Mm. One, we should normalize respect for people's opinion. Mm. But two, uh, as employees, we should also normalize receiving criticism mm. and feedback. Mm. Because sometimes it's constructive criticism. Exactly. So we should normalize getting it. Let's not get emotional with everything. Especially if it's said in good faith. So the person saying it may be someone who is close to you at work and is giving a sincere comment about something that is work related. Mm. So we should normalize having criticism and feedback at work, but also in the same spirit, we normalize respect for people's opinion, especially though you said in meetings. Mm. You know, there are times you've been in meetings and someone says something and other people start saying, ah, sit down, what's that? Mm. We should normalize respecting their opinions because everyone has a right to their opinion. How about erroring at work, like if you make mistakes at work, how would you, uh, do you think we need to normalize this, that we are human, uh, that we can make errors anytime? Yeah, I think uh, 
colleagues and employers should normalize the fact that we are human and we error. Mm. So if someone does something wrong or doesn't do something the way they're supposed to, we should normalize the fact that they're human and we can correct them or tell them how they can do it better and then be patient with them and tolerate them. Mm. And then if we are colleagues that are... Uh, uh, system of someone saying something maybe wrong or saying it the wrong way uh that thing of maybe ashamed someone you know when someone says something like in the meeting and everyone's like ah what is that what is he even saying that is so wrong you know yes it may be responsibility or your obligation to do it but if you don't do it the way you're supposed to do it i think people should normalize the fact that we are humans and we are prone to error and then we should adopt the system of tolerance and being patient with each other as as far as learning is concerned i've ever worked with someone who was always making errors mm -hmm. and she used to always apologize i'm so sorry every small mistake they're, they're, they're apologizing don't you think that can be also another way of uh, uh should i uh, should i call it which which term do we use on can people? say taking that for granted uh -huh. taking it for granted blackmailing mm -hmm. and you know, I think we should also have that. Uh, we should always be organized and mm -hmm. uh, uh, do things that should not qu uh, question our, you know, yeah, level of um, doing work. Yeah, but then we'll, but maybe if that one was common mm. for me, I'm talking about instances where, like, you've always done your work well, mm. but then there is this one time or two times where you something has gone wrong mm. what my, my issue is that no one is completely perfect 100 exactly, percent exactly. at all times and every time and no machine is 100 percent perfect yeah so uh, that's what i actually meant not doing wrong yet you know it's wrong uh, expecting people to you know to tolerate it thank you so much uh as we conclude what is your takeaway uh yeah, my takeaway is that we should normalize some things that for some reason they are not normal at most workplaces mm. we should normalize them to make life a bit easier at work mm. to create the balance between work life mm. and personal life to make people feel at ease at work some people when they go to their works they feel like they're in some sort of prison mm. so we should normalize these things so that people can have fun at work which will bring more productivity thank you so much lady and gentlemen for your time please subscribe to our youtube channel selegomba watch learn and give us feedback we're here to serve you thank you